Hello, how are you today? Hi, hi. Good evening. Good evening. Anybody there? <laughs> Good evening, teacher. How are you? All good. Only um, I am going. I am going to out of my office. Okay. You're so living that, right now. You're living. I I living right now. Okay. It will be pending then. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi, Carlita. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? Fine, fine. Ready, ready. Let's see. Hey, we have two new people. That's nice. Well, let's see if I can see you. How many? 11 here. Hi. Hi, hi. I have new people. Fernando, you knew, right? Pedro. Let's see who else. Sulma Ramirez. Jose Arnoldo. Are the ones that so far I recognize that are. Good evening. Hello, oh, good evening. Okay. Vamos a ver. Well, tell me present. Adolfo Rivas. Adriana María. Adriana María. Adriana Sofía. Present teacher. Ana Alicia. Ana. Brenda Alexandra. Claudia Guadalupe. Claudia Guadalupe. Cruz Antonio. Presente. David Alexander. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Uh -huh. José Alberto. José Alberto. José Alberto. José Alfredo. José Arnoldo. Good evening. Good evening. Carla Lorena. Present. Kevin Adonai. Mauricio Emilio. Good evening. Present. Nubia. Pedro Luis. Present teacher. Saul Edgardo. Saul Edgardo. Sulma Yanet. Present. Víctor Manuel. Present teacher. Fernando Enrique. Present teacher. Rosy. Present teacher. Okay, nice, nice. Let's see if anybody entered after I call you. Nope. Anybody? Okay. Well.
Well, we're beginning our new new model. Intermediate four. You see how time runs. Let me share here. Well, in our video conference number one today, we are going to be talking about advantages and disadvantages of the Shown channels. That's that's the topic. Advantages and disadvantages of distribution distribution channels. And the objective is at the end of the class, participants will be able to describe details about the stages of the distribution channel. Okay, that's what we are going to be achieving by the end of this. Okay. We are going to have some class introduction. We have a lot of new people. So we will listen to, to you, right? You're going to share uh, about you so you get to know each other. Then we're going to talk about vocabulary related to distribution channels. In the task preparation, we continue with the same topic, and at the end, you will be acting out your conversation. Well, about me, uh, I'm a teacher, right? I have uh, three diplomas, we can say. First, I have a master degree in virtual learning environment, my bachelor degree in education with a specialty in English language. And I'm also a secondary education teacher in language, in English language. Um, my experience, I have worked with the program English for Work since 2016. Yeah, something like that. Uh, I have worked with the with programs with the American Embassy. One of them was English Access Alumni and other programs with the Ministry of Education. One of them was in Opico and another, uh, I was also working in Metapan, Centro Escolar Los Llanitos, Metapan. Okay, so that is part of, of, of my experience. Currently, I work as a teacher in high school, in a secondary school. Well, I'm working with, teenagers, but I also work with adults and with children. So I have experience working with different ages, right? Not just with children, teenagers, but also with adults. Now, let's talk about some requirements for the program. Remember that when you enter to the class every day, you have to be careful or you have to be sure that you register with your complete name, yes? So include your complete name. For example, my name is Sol Esperanza Rodriguez de Portillo. So that's how I should appear there, right? And you as uh, the name that you gave to English Corporativo, for example, Pedro. La mujer, Pedro, where are you? Mm -hmm. Pedro Luis Morales Magaña, right? Not only Pedro Morales. Right, right. Pedro Luis Morales Magaña, the same Fernando. Fernando, be sure that you register with Fernando Enrique Acosta Figueroa. Okay? So your name has to be a complete, complete. Okay, that is a part of the of the requirement of English corporate. Do you know where? <coughs> do you know where to change your name? <coughs> do you have any idea where you can change your name? Yes, no. Um, I think that we can change our name in the platform, right? Aha. Uh -huh. Next to the, the, the space where you appear with your picture or where you are right now, uh, next to it, there are three points. Give me a second.
sorry. Okay, um, so let's see. Where you can see your image, there are three points, right? In that part, if you click in the three dots, you will see options like solicitar para reactivar audio, detener video, chat, ancla y destacar. Para todos, hacer anfitrión, convertirse en anfitrión, entre otros, cambiar nombre. Then you click in cambiar nombre and you add the part of the name that you're missing. Excellent. Pedro, I see you already did it. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver, anybody else? All the others are complete. Excellent. The thing is that at the moment of the attendance, right, when they are checking attendance, they see a, and they collect the attendance with your name, right, with your complete name. Fernando, did you see it? Click en los tres puntitos y ahí busque cambiar nombre para que se agregue el resto del nombre. Mm -hmm. Sí. Lastimosamente, Zoom no, Zoom no comparte Zoom. Pero cheque, ahí donde aparece su imagen, ahí oh. donde aparece su imagen, ahí dele clic en los tres puntitos. Sí. Y ahí le tendrá que aparecer la opción de cambiar nombre. Eso. Muy bien. Excelente. Bye. Check. <coughs> I have only two listeners in class. So if you are a listener, what you do is that you write listener next to your name, right? So you write Margarita Perez Martinez, parenthesis, oyente, right? Okay, so that's how you put it. So you write the word oyente after your name. Now, remember it is a requirement to have the camera open at all times. So, that is part, uh, part of the rules, right, that we have as English Corporativo. Another thing that is a, a requirement is the time, the thing of the, of the, the noise, right? So, minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible. I know sometimes it is not possible. Sometimes it's very difficult because especially the, on Fridays, right? That the neighbors mm -hmm. get very excited with the parties. <laughs> so we have to minimize that sound, that noise. Now, a participation is very important. Participation in all aspects. What all aspects? A first, in the class in general, right when we are here, in the general group. Another one, when you go to the small groups where I send you to practice with your partners. So you go there to practice, not to be quiet, right? So it is very important for you to share and to learn from others and to keep active there. Okay, and talking about the attendance here. To move in. Okay, talking about the attendance. Remember, attendance is required the 100%. So be sure that you attend the 100% of classes. And it is not just to be present, but also to be active, participating in class, uh, to be present the two hours, right? The two hours, the, the class, the complete class is from eight to 10. And there is a, a time when one of you will have to stay for 10 minutes. So be sure that that day, it's only one day in the course, 
when you have to stay for 10 minutes. So be sure that you are in class that day and that you stay from 10 to 10, right? From 10 to 10, 10, right? That's, that's the time of uh, the one-on-one -on -one meeting that we have. We call attendance three times. One that is at the beginning of the class at eight o'clock. The other one is at nine. And the other one is at 9.55. And remember, what you say, what you say when, we, when I call you is present. Present or present. So you can say it in English or you can say it in Spanish. Present or present, right? Mm -hmm. What else? What else? Any idea? Vamos a cambiar estas fechas. Okay. okay, so we have say present or present, right? That's part of uh, the moment when we call attendance. And be sure that you have the camera open when I call you and when you say present. Now, this is what I was telling you. The sessions one-on-one -on -one are available for each of you and they are 10 minutes, right? 10 minutes. Each participant uh, will be assigned 10 minutes at the end of each class. Mm -hmm. And remember that, well, sometimes I know you have problems, but that you can, even when you inform to me, I cannot tell you, okay, yes, I give you permission. I will put you present because it's not on my hands. Okay, <laughs> that's not on, on my hands. That, uh, of course, it is very, very important that you inform when you have any problem, right? Okay, talking about evaluations and assignments. You know, there is an assignment for each of you every single day, right? Since the beginning of the course, since today, you will have the first assignment. And for that, you have a platform where a present a space for entering the platform. So I will give you in a couple of minutes, I will give you time for you to check if you can enter to that platform, right? because that is very important that since the first day, you're sure that you can enter the platform. Now, it is necessary to obtain in the platform, where is my It is necessary to obtain 80% in the average of assignments and all the evaluations. You don't have an assignment every single day. On the second, about the third week after we finish unit number two, we have a midterm exam. I'm going to give you the exact day of that, of that exam. So the assignments are in the platform, remember, right? So it is very important that just after class, you go and you do the assignment. If one day you're absent, you can go to the platform, and the video of the previous class will be there. So you can see the video and then you can go do the assignment that corresponds to that class. So if you were not in class, you can refresh by watching the video of the previous class, right? That is recorded every single day and that is uploaded there, okay? Let me see if we are recording. Yes, we're recording. Okay. So now, all the assignments, all the assignments have to be complete every single 
Friday, right? A la medianoche, so at midnight. Because I report to, to Inglés Corporativo, I complete, I collect the grades from the platform to the list that Inglés Corporativo has given to me. And they report those assignments or those scores to INSA for every single week. So it is very important that you go on time, right? Now let's see the let's see the calendar. As today we are beginning Monday, right? That's nice, Monday. According to according to the calendar, I see that we have class assigned on November the second. I asked if we have class, but I have gotten no answer yet. So I assume that we have class on November the 2nd. If it is that way, that means that we will be finishing unit number one by November the 4th. That will be the first, the first Saturday, the first uh, week, right? Unit number one should be complete by November the 4th, okay? The first unit lasts one complete week. The second unit takes two weeks. So that begins on November 7th and finish on November 18th. So that means that on this coming Friday, November 18th, Mm -hmm. By this time, we should be finishing the midterm exam. Okay? By that Friday. And at the end, we continue with the following week. So remember, November the 4th, November the 4th, Friday, right? We should be finishing unit number one. November 18th, we should be finishing unit number two. November 25th, we should be finishing unit number three. And December the 2nd is the final exam. Yeah? December the 2nd. That's when we finish, when we finish this course. And I cannot tell you if there is another one or not because I don't know yet. Okay, so when should we finish unit number one? When? Hmm? When should we finish yes. unit number one? November? Yes, yes. You need one. Number nine. Mm -hmm. You need one. Number four. This November the fourth, right? November the fourth, you need one should be finished. When should we finish unit two? You need two. November 18th. November 18th. What about the midterm? Same day. The same day, November 18th. Very good. <laughs> when should we finish a, a unit? Unit number three? November? Twenty fifth. Check the following Friday, 25th, uh-huh. Yeah. And number four, when? December the second. 
<laughs> and the final exam for December. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Any questions? Okay, tell me, do you have the manual? Did you already download the manual? Not yet. Yes. Okay, perfectly. I'm going to share it with you. Ah, I have another question. Everybody, everybody raised the WhatsApp group already? Are you all in the WhatsApp group? Yes. Yes? Yeah. yeah. No, okay. Me too. Me too. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to share with you the man. Okay. So you have it there open hand. It will appear there in, and that's why I ask you because if you haven't registered, you are registered in the group now. You, it is, it is, you can find it in the platform, right? But anyway, it is also. Adolfo, do me a favor. Adolfo, hello. Hello. Necesito, hello, everybody. Necesito, Adolfo, que se ubique a la par de donde está su nombre. Dele click aquí a unos muñequitos que aparece que dice participantes. A la par donde aparezca su número. Yeah, participantes. Uh -huh. Cuando le aparezca todo el listado de participantes, a la par de su nombre, dele clic a tres puntitos. Ahí le va a dar la opción de, okay. cambiar, de cambiar nombre. Necesito que se ponga su nombre completo, tal como usted está registrado para el programa de inglés corporativo. Ok. Ahora. Vaya, so we continue here. No questions? Mm -hmm. Bye, Chick. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, Dolph. Bye now, Chick. You have a now you have the manual, right? You don't have to worry about downloading it from the platform. I want to 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 make emphasis on this. Uh, check. No se utiliza material de terceros en ninguna sesión. Okay, that means that I cannot use videos, right? I know sometimes we could use videos to enrich the classes. We could use link. I like to use links with, especially with the grammar points, but we cannot use any material that is no mine in the classes, that is no mine, or that does not belong to in support, right? So what I do here is that uh, if we need some extra practice of a grammar point, I share the link in the WhatsApp group. That's why uh, the, the necessity that all of you appear in the WhatsApp group, right? Because I use it a lot for communicating and there is where uh, during the classes when we are going to do an activity that is not in the manual, I share it there in the WhatsApp group for you to be able to see it. And when we have a topic where we need to watch a video, we need to, you, to do extra practice or something, I share the link over there in that group also for you to see the video in, in your own time, right? or for you to do the link or do extra practice in your own. Okay, that is especially with those uh, topics that need an extra explanation or extra practice. But I cannot put videos in class because these videos go directly to YouTube. 
And if I put a video from somebody else, they, I'm violating the rights, right? And then uh, YouTube will cancel my video. We will have to repeat the case. So that's not good. Okay, so I'm just explaining this for you to why we cannot put videos, right? We cannot put a material from any other a platform or any other group. Any questions about that? No? Okay, perfect. Okay, now. Uh, getting to know Zoom. Now, I guess you, most of you are, are more than familiarized with the platform, but remember there is a button that's silence, right, or mute. Uh, so if, if you see there is too much noise in the place where you are, be sure that that microphone is mute. But it is very important that you open your microphone to participate anytime it's necessary, right? The camera, you can see there the icon of the camera, right? The icon of the chat. There is also one button for you to call me or for you to ask for help when you are in the rooms, in the small rooms. When I send you to the to the rooms, to the small rooms or breakout rooms, as we call them here, uh, you will receive a call even when you are inside the call. And it is very important that you join that call, right? To go to the mini rooms that I use a lot because it's like part of the interaction that you may have with the others, right? That's the, the, the interaction that we cannot have face to face that that we have at least here in the visuality. Now, before we continue, before we enter to topic, we're going to see this, uh, this video. Uh, this is a video that has, we have been instructed to share with you the first day of class. So I'm going to put it right. I'm going to stop sharing here. Let's see. El Insaport ha trabajado con un alto nivel de profesionalismo, pensando siempre en incrementar las posibilidades de crecimiento para la gente de nuestro país. Nos hemos dedicado a que a través de la formación se generen oportunidades para los salvadoreños y así cada vez más, en un mundo más competitivo y globalizado, siempre existan en nuestro país posibilidades de superación para todos. Miles de hombres y mujeres han logrado desarrollarse profesionalmente y han ampliado sus conocimientos y posibilidades laborales a través de los diferentes programas de formación que son parte del sistema de formación profesional, el cual ofrece programas de formación para todos los niveles de recurso humano dentro de una empresa. Se ha incrementado productividad en muchas industrias y cientos de empresas a través de la capacitación y formación de cientos de miles de salvadoreños con programas como Área Técnica, ofreciendo cursos técnicos para mejorar el desempeño operativo y tecnológico de los trabajadores. Competencias Gerencial, con temas de capacitación para complementar y actualizar conocimientos para áreas de gerencia. Inglés para el Trabajo. Contenidos estandarizados del inglés para hacer a los trabajadores más eficientes y productivos en el desempeño de sus funciones. Mejora de competitividad de las MIPES. Amplios temas de capacitación específicos para micro y pequeños empresarios. Cursos cerrados y abiertos. Tratando temas de capacitación para trabajadores de las empresas cotizantes de Insaport. Insaport Online. Cursos online con el horario y ubicación que más convenga al usuario para la constante capacitación en múltiples temas y profesiones. Trabajando con el compromiso claro de ayudar al desarrollo del país y con un equipo profesional entregado a buscar oportunidades para nuestra gente, es que Insabor ha logrado tener un modelo de gobernanza y gestión ejemplar que tiene como base el diálogo permanente entre el sector empleador, laboral y el gobierno formando a los trabajadores, capacitando a la gente de nuestro país, 
es que transformamos la vida de las familias salvadoreñas, porque en Insaport trabajamos todos los días sabiendo que, a través del conocimiento, es que estamos formando un mejor El Salvador. Con el objetivo de formar en igualdad el Instituto Salvadoreño de Formación Profesional INSAFOR presentó en el año 2017 la guía para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres en los centros de formación fijos donde se desarrollan programas permanentes de formación profesional del INSAFOR, cuya elaboración contó con el apoyo de la Organización Internacional del Trabajo, OIT, y su objetivo a largo plazo es contribuir a mejorar las condiciones y oportunidades de acceso y permanencia de las mujeres en los procesos de formación profesional sin discriminación de ningún tipo. La guía pretende poner a disposición de su INSAFOR y de sus centros colaboradores un instrumento que les permita identificar, conocer, prevenir, atender y erradicar progresivamente cualquier discriminación por razones de género contra la mujer. Posteriormente, el INSACOR desarrolló un plan piloto de implementación de la guía en tres centros de formación fijos. Y es así como surgen cuatro instrumentos fundamentales para la aplicabilidad de la guía, siendo estos manual de convivencia, protocolo de atención en casos de bullying y acoso sexual, Lineamiento para la comunicación de los programas de formación con lenguaje inclusivo no sexista y la guía metodológica para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres. Dichos documentos fueron elaborados con el enfoque de derechos humanos y de género, estableciendo medidas que garanticen relaciones de respeto, igualdad y equidad entre todas las personas que forman parte y conviven en los centros de formación profesional. De esta forma, el Instafor asume la igualdad de género como un principio transversal de trabajo, entregando a los centros de formación estos cuatro errores. Hola, ¿qué tal? Y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres, a fin de que sean puestas en práctica en beneficio de las usuarias de la formación profesional. Insafor, formando en igualdad. Ok. Yeah. Now let's go back to the presentation. So you have more uh, a better idea of all the other things that INSAFOR uh, offers to you, right? A part of the English classes. Okay, well, let's see. We're going to do this in... Um, in a way, so you all have the chance to share and have the chance to speak. Probably some of you will say teacher, but you already know me, uh -huh, yes, but your partners, the new ones do not know you, right? So I'm going to, intro, uh, to send you to the group. So you're going to share with your partners this information, share. When you introduce yourself, that is something very important because Even uh, when you're getting to a new job, they ask you to introduce yourself in English. So what are the things that you need to share? One, mention your given name, if different from your official name, right? Uh, talk about where you're from or where you were born and where you're living now. So if you say, well, I was, I was born in... in in San Salvador, right? I'm from San Salvador and I live in San Salvador. But if, for example, you were born in San Miguel to say something, well, I was born in San Miguel, but now I live in Chalatena. Okay, so you can share something like that, right? Share an interesting detail about yourself, for example, what you do for fun, what interests you. So you can say, well, um, I like watching movies. I like reading. I like doing handicraft in my free time. Something that, something that interests me is learning languages. So I'm interested in doing something to learn a couple of, well, at least one more language, right? 
And check the other one, it says, maybe you're too busy at work and don't have time for hobbies. Hmm, not a problem. Just talk about a hobby you did in the past or an activity you'd like to try in the future. Mm -hmm. uh, if you say, with teacher, I have no time for hobbies, right? I know sometimes we have to work a lot and we don't have time for hobbies. But in that case, you can talk about a hobby that you did in the past, right? A hobby you did in the past or an activity that you would like to try in the future. Yes? Mm -hmm. And let me move this. If you're taking the class by choice, mention the reason you have decided to take it, right? If you were sent by your boss to take it, well, you can say it too. <laughs> okay, do you have any questions? No questions? No? A little? No. Hey, tell me, Pedro. No, Fernando. Yes. Yes, and um, what if I have a question that I only want to you to hear it. So sorry, I didn't catch it. Okay, if I have a question that I don't want to the group hear it, what can I say? What can I do to to only ask me to you? You have a question that you don't want to share. I don't want to share with the group. Uh -huh. For and example, what, for example, what question, Fernando? Um, if I do it, I share with the group. Actually. If you are? Oh, okay. My question is, if, if, if I, wait. would you mind if I smoke when I am receiving my class? I, I don't catch it. Okay. So is there a question that you don't, for example, you can always be kind of general, right? So for example, when you say where you're from or where you live, you don't need to give the address. So you can say in San Salvador, in Santa Ana here, we manage all with the departments. So we don't give the direction. We're very careful because we know that we are in YouTube. So we don't give personal information. So, right? So don't worry about that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you say, I was born in San Miguel, but now I live in, in Santa Ana, for example. So you don't have to tell me where exactly you live now. Just the department. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's what you mean. Yes, yes, thank you. Okay. Basham, let's go. I'm going to send you, I'm going to send you to the groups. I'm going to share this uh, uh, with you in the chat. So you go, I, if I don't stop sharing, I cannot make groups. Okay. Well, I'm going to send you the questions or the information. It, the thing is, for example, if you tell me, teacher, why are we doing this? The thing is this, you know, it's some very simple topics that we need to manage because if you are trying to apply for a job in English, First thing they will ask you is to introduce yourself in English, right? And when we are asked suddenly, we go like, oh, que digo? so I don't know, I don't know, because we are not used to talk about us, right? We talk about whatever, we talk about many things, but we forget to talk about us and who we are and what we do, right? 
So that's why it, that is something very important. Another important topic that even when you can think like, ah, but it's to tell me what's a hobby that you do. Tell me about hobby. Describe. Because the purpose of a job interview in English is not just a, asking any question, but they are asking you first to get to know you and the other one to see if you manage the language, right? Another common question that you will find in a job interview in English is it describe your favorite movie. And the purpose there is to see if you can manage with tenses. Mm -hmm. So that is part of, of why it is so important to do something like this, right? But I share the questions there in the chat. So I'm going to send you to the groups. You will be, hmm, you're 17. I'm going to, okay, groups of five. Mm -hmm. Four. Four people will be enough for you to share with your others and get to know different people. Let me see, Adolfo, Cruz, Fernando, Jose Alfredo, and Rosy, number one. Number two, Jose Alberto, Pedro, Jose Alberto, you're very quiet today. Where are you? I don't see you. Hello? <laughs> I okay, very quiet, Jose Alberto. <laughs> number two, Jose Alberto, Pedro, Sulma, and Victor. We have at least one new person there. Number three, David, Jose, Arnoldo, Carla, and Mauricio. And number six, Adriana Maria, Adriana Sofia, Nubia, and Saul Edgardo. You have more new people there. But I'm going to, in, to exchange a Victor with Pedro. So you have two new people in each group. There we go. Join Join the group and share the information about you. So get to know each other, right? Ready, ready? I'm going to give you five minutes and then I take you out. Voy manejando, Rosy. Okay, I'm start. Hello, my name is Rosa Hilda Escobar Clavel. I was born and I live in Cincinnati. Um, I like to dance and I am always interested in learning. And I have been working as a purchasing manager for Farmacia SR for 12 years. My hobby is listening to music and playing with my son. I want to learn English for a long time and it's a pleasure to be in this class again. And you, Fernando? Okay, hi, and my name is Fernando, but my friends call me Kike because it's my second name, right? And I work in a, in a bank and my hobby is to play the guitar and play video games in my cell phone. And I, I wanted to learn English because I want to improve my job. I want mm -hmm. to find a new job, a better job to pay more, right? Mm -hmm. That's why I'm here, trying to learn and trying to get a, a, a diploma. I don't know how to say diploma in English, but- a diploma, yeah. Diploma, diploma, right? Okay. This is my, this is my full model. 
I begin and in the in the nivel uh, intermedio mm -hmm. uh, the, in, in the in the model one so I have the opportunity or, or I have the chance for uh, go learning in in the four mode in this time and I think it's that's all sometimes I I am um, so busy and at work um, in some class I maybe don't participate because that Okay. Mauricio, you? Me what? <laughs> no, no. Mauricio, I just see you jumping around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, teacher. I um, see you jumping around. Saltándose el muro. Ajá. Uh -huh. Vaya, go ahead, Mauricio. Tell us about you. Teacher, uh, right now, uh, voy a ir a traer a, a una persona en el carro. So voy a estar de oyente un momentito. <laughs> hey, Carlita. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, the name is too, teacher. My name is Carla Lorena Lena. No, because Jose Arnoldo doesn't know you, Carlita. My name is Carla Lorena Leiva. I I was born in San Salvador and I live always uh, or I mean the things that I like. The things what I like to do uh, to uh, to have fun is maybe just go to a to a mall and you know see things that I can buy or something like that. And many other times I like to read or see series or movies uh, in in Netflix or some platform, some similar platform, and uh, things like those. So the next point is about. Uh, my hobbies, uh, to be honest, like the teacher was saying in the in the post call, uh, I don't have hobbies right now, but uh, I like to see series and movies as uh, I was talking about, but I don't have too much time to be honest uh, for this. But that one is one of my hobbies. So um, maybe things that I would like to try in the future is maybe a uh, learn to to drive or i don't know how can i say it to ride a motorcycle because i just can drive a car and i would like to learn uh, to drive a motorcycle and well uh, for the last point uh i i i decided to take this class because uh, I really interesting to learn English. Uh, to be honest, is not a, a kind of obligation uh, in the company where I work. So I take this decision or I chose it because I want to learn and I want to improve my English. I want to learn uh, more vocabulary and improve my grammar and many other things like those. So I just want to say that. Uh, so nice to meet you, right? Okay, thank you. Nice to meet you nice too. To meet you. You. <laughs> Thanks.
Nice, nice. I guess we still miss, ah yeah, we still miss some people. One got lost. Okay, well, now you know a little bit about a couple of more people, right? During the course, you will get to know more, right? Because you will be working and talking with different people around the course. Okay. Now. We have a couple of questions. Remember uh, the topic I told you is distribution channels, right? So look at the questions we have. Does your company sell products and services directly to the customers? Or the next question, what kinds of business distribute their product to other stores? Mm -hmm. That's your, the first one is about your company and the other one is about other businesses, right? Does your company sell products and services directly to customers or do you use service from others, right? And the next question, what kinds of business distribute their product to other stores? For example, if you talk about Coca-Cola, they do not, sell the product directly to their customers. They use some different distribution channels so the customers can get their products, right? So that's what you're going to be discussing here. Any question? Question? No? There we go to the rooms again, but I'm going to send you to different groups this time. The attendance teacher. Oui, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, a reason. <laughs> thank you, Victor. Just on time. Let me see if we are more than at the beginning. Adolfo Rivas? Adolfo? Can you, can you repeat, please? Adolfo Rivas? Say present. Uh, okay. Uh, about me? Adolfo, tell me present. I'm calling oh, present. I'm present. Calling, I'm calling attendance. Vaya, yeah. recuerden, recuerden, cuando lo llamo, ustedes me dicen present. Okay, present. Okay. Adriana María. Present, teacher. Adriana Sofía. Present teacher. Ana. Ana. Brenda Alexandra. Claudia Guadalupe. Luis Antonio. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. José Alberto. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Morosaico. José Alfredo. José. Yeah, ok. José Arnoldo. Present. Carla Lorena. Present. Kevin Adonai. Mauricio Emilio. Present teacher. Nubia Zulema. Nubia. Present teacher. Okay. Pedro Luis. Pedro Luis. Present teacher. Present. Saúl Edgardo. Present. Zulma Yanet. Present. 
Victor. Present teacher. Fernando Enrique. Present. Okay, nice. Teacher. Hola. No me olvide, please. Ay, sorry, Rosy. Solo la vi. Solo la vi le puse present. Thank you. Así que escribo, teacher. <ríe> sí. Ay, no, qué barbaridad. Siempre me salto a alguien. Hoy le tocó a Rosy. So, le cambio el nombre. Oye. Oh, yes. Ah, ¿verdad? Oh, ya sabe. Muy bien. Ok, vaya, chequen. Eh, los que están por primera vez ya se van a ir acostumbrando. La rutina es el pasar a tiendas a las 8, a las 9 y a las 10. De que algunas veces ya ven, hasta me recuerdan ya cuando a mí se me ha escapado la hora. ¿Verdad? Pa. Ahí está. We go again in groups of four. We go again in groups of four, so uh, you get to share, right? And discuss the questions that we have there. Those questions, you will find them, open your manual to page number nine. Page number nine. Okay. Okay. Vamos. Um, for... Hola. I don't have the manual. Está agregado usted al grupo de WhatsApp, Alberto. Yes. Ahí se los mande. Antes de la otra fotito. Okay. Unit Pero... one. Unit one, yes. Yeah. Unit one, page nine. Ya lo vio, Albert. Es solo la foto. No tengo nada antes. Ah, es que quizás no se había agregado al grupo usted, vamos a ver. Déjeme ver. Ah, usted es el que se agregó después del manual, justo. Pero, pero. Yeah. <laughs> now, you can see, you can see now. Ah, ok, ok, thank yeah. you. Thank bueno, you. Hoy lo tiene doble. <risa> Chequite. Todos los demás están agregados, ¿verdad? Porque si no, no van a poder ver el manual. A menos que lo bajen de la plataforma. A mí me gusta compartírselo ahí al WhatsApp porque está como más fácil. Recuerden, el manual lo pueden imprimir si lo quieren tener así. Lo pueden bajar al computer, lo pueden andar cargando en el cell phone. Se les haga más conveniente. Bye. Ready? There we go. Five minutes. Join, join. Good. Adolfo, cuénteme si le aparece la invitación. Nice. Thank you. Does, okay. does your company sell products and service directly to the consumer? In my case, no. In my mm. company, yes. Ah. Yeah, in my right. case, in my case, no. No. Okay. And in my case, maybe. <laughs> Oh, why? Why? <laughs> why maybe? I work mm. at guys. Mm, service. Mm -hmm. service. Where? Mm -hmm. Your company sell pro sell service. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In my case, my company sell products to the directly to the consumer. Yes. And what kinds of business distribute 
their product to other stores in my company. Uh, medicine. What kinds of business distribute their products to other stores? Well, um, I mean in a in a paint area, and we don't sell directly the the, the product. We uh, for the customer, we sell the products uh, for the hardware stores and the paint centers, and they distribute the products for for the customer. So, what kinds of business mm -hmm. distribute their product to the others? I think yeah, there are like supermarkets and retail stores that or distribute sells to them and the supermarkets and retail stores sell the products to the final consumers. Next. Okay. Um, does your company sell products and services direct, directly to the consumers? Yes. Uh, my company sell products to the final con uh, consumer. Uh, what kind of business distribute their products to other stores? <clears throat> uh, I think like an example of the teacher does uh, give us um, the Coca-Cola company. It's a it, it, it's the kind of business uh, that they don't sell to final consumers. Uh, and then they need to <clears throat> another companies to <clears throat> or distribute it. With the people right in front of direct directly from face to face no really yes um, but i want to change my change my job and i want to work in a call center for example because they pay much so much it's a better that, salary it's a better better salary yes and that's why i'm here okay and i i don't say that my work is not fine because I like what I does what I do but uh, it's not okay you are on the money. way uh -huh. uh, my money the money that they pay is not enough for me and okay that, that's you all. are on way my friend okay Jose Alfredo are you there I guess no. He was no. the motorcycle, he felt. Ah, really? I, I remember that. Yeah, Sorry. That's, that's he doesn't hear. Okay. Okay. We, we already talked about uh, our company, our business, our job, for example. Okay. Now we can we can continue the number the part number two with the conversation. I'm going to take you out. Yeah, I'm going to take you out in a minute. Well, it takes a minute to take you all out, so I'm going to take you out right now to cheer. Okay. We have just only one minute, right? 
One minute, yes. Okay, now we're back. So we have first question, does your company sell products and services directly to, cons to consumers? Yes or no? In my company, yes, sell products directly to the consumer. Okay. Not to the pharmacies, Rosy. Yes, teacher. You take it directly to the people. Okay. What about the others? In my case, I, I sell the product directly from people. Okay, directly to people. Nice. What kinds of businesses distribute, distribute their products to other stores? Mm -hmm. Maybe teacher, the... um, for example. Uh -huh. I work for the municipality in Nehapa. I am a, a public server. But in my home, my family produce uh, different natural candy and, and natural and organic chocolate. And we sell, we sell the product directly to the consumers. Okay, nice. That's nice. That's going directly to the consumers, not using uh, other channels to, to sell it, right? Okay. Uh -huh. Mauricio, do you want to add something to that? Yeah, teacher, but about the second question. Second question, okay. Uh, for me, could be the uh, producer's company. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they tell the they take their products to other stores. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Now check. We have a couple of, of, of words that we're going to be using later on in the conversation. One, what's a distribution channel? If you remember that appeared already, right, in the conversation or in the discussion that you had. What is a distribution channel? Look at the definition I have. It's a distribution. Oh, it's a path. What is a path? Ruta. Mm -hmm. That path is, is ruta or a way, or way. Exactly. Like a way. Like a way, yes. Mm -hmm. That a product or service could take on its way to the market. So what is the way that the product takes directly to the market, right? On its way to the market. Now, when we talk about distribution channel, we have two forms, one that is direct and the other that is indirect. What is the direct distribution channel? Mm -hmm. When a company sells the, their product directly, for example, uh, a restaurant, so I don't know, could be others like a bakery. Uh-huh, uh-huh, exactly. So they sell their product directly to the consumer, right? And they can use 
they can use whatever. Now, you know, everything has facilitated with the use of the internet and the use of apps and different things that people, well, some companies have their own website or they have their own app to share, right? For example, you say, well, I want to uh, order a pizza bed. I'm going to order it from Pizza Hut directly, right? Uh, from the app that they have, or from the WhatsApp chat directly to the company. Or on the web? On the web, exactly. On the web. Or calling. Uh -huh. Exactly. So they have different forms, right? To, uh, to make you get the product. Now, what is an indirect distribution channel? Mm -hmm. The service Uber? Uber Eats, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Uber Eats, Google, Pedido Ya, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Exactly. Because if that is if a company is using an indirect distribution channel, it means they are using Teacher, but in, in this case, they don't sell their product. They That's use right. sell, uh, the transport exactly. that you food. But check the definition. It means they are using an intermediary to bring their product or service to the customer. So you use the app of uh, Pedido Ya or Hugo or what is the other, Uber Eats? They have the app. They are here, they are the retailers. So they are distributing your product. They are not like, okay, I'm going to get the product and I'm going to have them in a store. Mm -mm. But they are making money with your product. And they are helping you, right? So that's why. It is an, an indirect distribution channel. It's not you selling the product directly to the consumer, but it's you as a company uh, using something else that is not yours, a service that somebody else uh, offers, like in this case, Uber Eats, to make your product get to the customer. But who's paying the gas, the transportation, or everything of the product directly to the customer? No, you, right? It is the consumer, the one that is- Yeah, there. usually the, the, cost, the consumer- Exactly. Yeah, usually the, the consumers uh, cover the transportation cost. Exactly, exactly. So in an, in, in an indirect distribution channel, you're using a third person for your consumer to get your product. It's not you face to face with the consumer. No, it's you, another person in the middle, and then the consumer, right? And that's what Uber Eats, uh, as Nubia was saying, is making here for the products, right? Also, we can add there the stores where you take the product, you leave your product there and they sell it to the public, right? So there are different uh, ways of making that distribution. Now, what is meant by distribution channel? We said already that distribution channels are the path that products or services take when traveling from the manufacturer or provider to the consumer or user. All that way yes. that the, and that's why we say that the distribution channel can be direct or can be indirect depending on the path that you take. But all that way is the distribution channel. For example, imagine, uh, here we have the example of electronics. Electronics manufacturer, that produces televisions might choose to go directly to consumer, mm. but possibly 
They will also use distribution channels such as retailers or wholesalers. We're going to see the definition for these two words too, which are what are retailers and what are wholesalers, right? So check. Wholesale, wholesalers. Wholesalers. A retailer, okay. the retailer sells products directly to the consumers in a small quantity. So I, I don't know if you know these products that are sold by catalog, like Avon, Evel, Essentia. There are different products that are sold by catalogs, right? So they have people who go to- Herbalife. Mm -hmm. Herbalife. So they have people who go to the consumer and they sell small quantities. Fisher, mm -hmm. but in the case of uh, Herbalite, it still is uh, intermediate or could be a pyramidic scam. It's a pyramid. That's a pyramid, but they use retailers because they use people. In this case, we're talking about the distribution channel, right? Not the type of business. As a type of business, they are a pyramid because you go accumulating what you sell. It's accumulated to the person who recommended you first and what the other person you recommend is accumulated for you and you accumulating for the other and like that. So at the end, a, there is a, like, a, like this, right? Somebody that is on the top that will tell you, I make a lot of money because I have a lot of people who I have recommended and they are selling and they accumulated, they accumulate something for me. So that's the type of business, right? Like that, we have many businesses like that that according to the people who you have recommended for selling, you are accumulating some part of the rentability of what they sell, right? But when talking about the distribution channel, it's just the way from the product coming from here to the consumer, right? That's the distribution channel, it doesn't matter if uh, the type of product that you are offering or the type of service, because it can be also with a service, right? But remember, the retailers, they sell products directly to the consumer, but in a small quantity. So they go to the big company, they buy the product, they sell it little by little. And then you have the wholesalers. They sell products in bulk, but at lower prices and they sell the products typically to the retailers, right? So they have big quantities and they say, okay, I'm going to sell, uh, for example, if you go to a Chinese store, they tell you I'm going the minimum. Yeah. If you want a toys, dozen. toys for children, for example. Exactly. So they say the minimum I can sell you of one product is three the minimum. In some cases, in other products, they tell you you have to get a dozen, right? Of course, it is at a lower price, right? Because they are selling a big quantity. And who's the one that goes to buy to the wholesalers? Bueno, the, the retailer that goes to the wholesaler to buy, uh, to go sell it to the people directly, because if I want to buy a toy, as Adolfo was saying, I'm not going to buy the dozen of toys. I want only one because I have only one child, right? So I'm going to buy it to the retailer, but the retailer, as he wants to make a profit and he wants to sell to other people, he will come and buy to the wholesaler. And that's why we were saying these people, right? These people, when they have a talking about the distribution channel, as the companies, uh, they can use retailers or wholesalers as 
intermediaries, right? To sell their products. Oh, they easily take it to a store. And in the stores, the products go moving one by one to the people. Okay. I don't know if you have any question there. No teacher, no question. Okay, perfect. Now let's go to the conversation. We have here Ellie and Joel. They are talking about options to distribute their products. We're going to read the conversation together. Then I'm going to send you to the groups for you to go practice and answer these questions. Okay. I'm thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. Really? Well, we will need to check with a consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution no. options. We sell everything directly to the consumer through our online store. Mm, me neither. Maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a retailer store. Let's give a try. And if it is a success, we can sell more from our catalog at stores. Okay, now you repeat after me. I'm thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. I am thinking, I'm thinking about, about selling physical copies or of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. Really? For entrepreneurs. Really? 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 Well, really? we really? need to change well. consultant. Well, we will need to check with a consultant. Well, well, well we, will need, we will need to check with a consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution options. I don't, I don't, have, don't have any experience with distribution options. We need everything directly to the consumer through our online store. We sell, we sell everything directly to the consumer through our online store. Me neither. Me neither. Me neither. Me neither. Maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a retailer store. Maybe, Maybe we could ask around, around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a retail store. Let's give a try. Let's, Let's give, a give a try. And if it is a success, we can sell more from our catalog at stores. And, and, if it is, and if it is a success, we can sell more from our catalog at store. Excellent. Now I'm going to be Ellie. You're going to be Joel. Okay. I'm thinking okay. of selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. Really? 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 Well, well we need to check the consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution options. We sell everything directly to the consumer through our online store. Me neither. Maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from our partnership with a retailer store. Let's, Let's give, give a try. A try. Uh, Let's give a try. And if it is a success, we can sell more from our store. store. Okay, perfect. Now you are Ellie and I am Joel. You be okay. One, two, three, go. I am thinking about selling physical training of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. Really? Well, we will need to check with a consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution options. We sell everything directly to the consumer through our online store. Me neither. Me neither. Me neither. Maybe, Maybe we'll go we'll ask, ask around and, and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a retail store. Let's give a try. And if it is a success, 
we can sell more from our catalog at stores. Catalog at a store. Okay, repeat profit. 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 Entrepreneur. 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 Consultant. 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 Distribution. 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 True. 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 Profit. True. Profit. 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 Partnership. 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 Success. Success. Catalog. 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 Okay, perfect. Catalog. Stop sharing. And I'm going to send it to the groups, but this time we will be in pairs. Let me see. We're going to make it in groups. There should go. We will have the... Jose Alfredo, are you already at home? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Victor, not yet. Yes, teacher, I'm here. Ah, perfect, perfect. <sighs> okay, we are complete, nice. Vaya, let's go practice the conversations and then answer the questions, okay? Join. Do enjoy a dolphin. Okay. Excellent. Okay. For a start, would you like to start Adriana and Victor? Okay, so let me let me share. Let me share too. Okay, is this um Adriana, you are gonna be Ellie and I am I'm gonna be Joel. Okay. Let's go. Um okay. I'm thinking about selling physical copies of our audit training program for entrepreneurs. Really? Well, we will need to check with a consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution options. We sell everything directly to the consumer through our online store. Me neither. Maybe we could ask around how much profit we could get from a partnership with our retailer store. Let's give a try. And if it is a success, we can sell more from our catalog at the stores. Okay. Okay. Uh, would you like Victor with me? Okay. Okay. And uh, I start. I oh. think I I'm thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. 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 Really? Well, we will need to check with a consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution options. We sell everything directly to the consumer through our online store. Minitier, maybe we call us around and see how much 
profit will call together from a partnership with a retail store. Let, let's give a try. And if it is a success, we can sell more from our catalog at stores. Okay. Uh, Adriana? Now, Adriana, now I am going to be Ali, you are going to be Joel. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Okay. I am thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. Really? Well, we will need to check with a consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution options. We sell everything directly to the customers uh, through our online stores. Me neither. Maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a retailer store. Let's give a try. And if it's a success, we can sell more from our catalog at the stores. Good. Um, maybe you wanna okay. Adriana, one more time? Yes. Uh, I do it. Who? Um, the, um, is compañía de membrado eléctrico. Ah, ah, okay. En CAES. Yep. Okay, no, no, no había entendido. Uh -huh. That's nice, man. I work in a financial house. I don't know how to say that. It's some, some, some kind of bank or bank or something like that. Teacher, Hi. we already practiced the lines that you gave, it, okay. gave us. Now you can move to exercise three where you're going to answer the questions about the conversation. Okay, in the, in the, oh, okay. the part three. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. In part number three. How does Ellie want to expand their business? Uh -huh. <clears throat> Did you answer the questions, Nubia? And this moment, it, it oh. answers. The question, teacher. Okay, perfect. Business. Uh, let me see. I was talking about, yeah, for entrepreneur. Me neither. Maybe the. Okay, how does? Really want to expand their business. Okay, really to check we are consultant experience. Okay, uh, Ely wants to expand their business. Uh, not directly, not directly. Uh, she wants. Uh, she wants to to expand their business about the online store, I think so. Yeah. In audio training. Or what about? That's what they do right now. Yeah, because, yeah. because Ely is, uh, is thinking about selling by physical copies. But uh, Joel recommend to to sell their the, her products um, in online store directly to the consumer. Yeah. Okay. But uh, but Ily don't have any experience too. <laughs> Teacher. Hi. We confused. Uh-huh. 
uh, with this answer. How does Ellie want to expand their business? She wants to expand maybe distribution option. She wants to expand, keep the well, like expand. Uh -huh. She wants to expand through. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Through our, um, our online store. Uh -huh, through a retailer store. Uh. Are you sure? Estamos bien confundidos con eso. Ah, ok. Ahora sí. She says that she's, she wants to sell copies, right? But they are, right now, they are selling through online only, through the uh -huh. web. But she wants to make a partnership with a retailer store. No, no online. That's how they do it. But she doesn't want to do it that way. Ajá, hacer un online store. Así no. Así lo hace, pero no quiere estarlo haciendo así. Por eso, she went, entonces en este caso sería, she wants to expand through maybe distribution oh, option. A retailer store. And that's oh. what I tell you, through a retailer store. Uh -huh. Ajá, because it's like, okay, imagine she tells you, okay, you know what, Rosy? I'm mm -hmm. selling my product online. I have a web page and I'm selling the product that way. But I want to sell it physical. I want to sell the, 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 the paper, right? I want to sell it like this. But for that, I need a retailer store to have my magazines in physic. So mm -hmm. go there. Get the magazine, touch it, see it, and buy it. Mm -hmm. That's what she wants. Okay. Because if you see, Joel says, we sell everything directly to the consumer through online store. But she doesn't want that anymore. Ya se aburrió. Mm -hmm. She wants something else. Mm hmm and what about mm -hmm. the second? Do Jo do Joel and Ellie have experience with indirect distribution channels? No, no, they are. They don't. Are they? They are. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. They they don't have any experience. No, they don't. Mm -hmm. No, they don't. They don't have any experience. Uh huh. Do not forget the capital letter in every sentence, Rosy. Okay, teacher. Um, oh. Okay, what indirect distribution channel are they con considering? Considering? Okay. Are they considering? Considering. Mm -hmm. Always retail store. No. Retail store, exactly. Exactly, that's the one. Mm -hmm. But uh, they say what in the day distribution channel are they considering? Sorry. Yes, because for the hi 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 uh, we finished the practice. Okay, uh, did you write the answers? Uh, write the answer. Uh huh. No. You have to write the answers to the questions. Okay, but I don't. I didn't prepare myself for that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you answer the questions in number three? Uh, yes. 
Okay. You wrote the answers in your notebook. No, I will right now. Okay, so remember, it's a good idea to write the answers in the notebook. Well, I'm going to take you out. You will have one minute to finish. But number okay, three. Thanks, teacher. No number four yet, number three. Okay. Nice. Hmm. Nine seconds and everybody will be back. Okay, perfect. Okay, tell me. How does Ellie want to expand their business? How does she want to expand the business? She wants to sell the audio program physically. Okay, she wants to sell it physically. Okay. No more. Ellie wants to search. Uh, ah. Ellie wants to search for a partnership or a retailer store. Exactly, she wants a partnership with a retailer store, very good. Do Joel and Ellie have experience with indirect distribution channels? No. 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 No, okay. no they don't. No, they don't. They don't have experience, right? What indirect distribution channel- no, they don't. What indirect distribution channel are they considering? Um, they are consider they are considering uh, Carello of uh, online store. Okay. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver. The retail store, maybe. Uh -huh. Remember, but now? Joel, a partnership with a retailer store. They are considering exactly because right now they are selling it online. Right, but now they they want to remember they are selling it online, but they want to do it physical, right? They want to sell physical copies. For that, they need a retailer store. So they need to get a partnership with a retailer store, right? That's what they need. So the indirect channel that they want to take is this one, a retailer store. What is a retailer store? Hmm? A tienda minorista. Okay. That store that will sell, can be a supermarket, right? Because they are selling your product to people and they are not telling the hate, but you have to buy the dosing. No, if people want to buy one, they sell one, right? If people want to buy more, they sell more. Mm -hmm. Just when the products are on sale, the, the, the supermarket has a regulation saying you cannot buy more than three because the product is on sale and we want more people to buy it, not just one, okay? Now, we will work here. We will do this exercise. I know some of you already did it. Some others not, but anyway, I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to match. We were, we were already mentioning a couple of words here. 
So go ahead and read the definition and match. I already shared with you a couple of definitions from these words, right? I have a question, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, the number one yeah. says, an intermediary entity in the distribution channel that buys in bulk and sells to resellers. Yeah. Uh, that's, that is, let me see. Uh, this uh, wholesaler? Yes. Yes, yeah. that's the wholesaler. Because, because uh, sells in bulk, Right, they buy in bulk. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, they buy in bulk, right? They sell to their oh. sellers. They they sell maybe quantity. Uh -huh. They sell a big quantity, but not that big as the one they buy, right? And the reseller mm -hmm. goes and sells them like if people want one, they sell one. Number three is retailer. Number three, a person or business that sells goods to the public in small quantities. Distributor. I, number three, perdón. Or retailer. Ah, sí, number three, oh, sorry. Uh -huh, that's a retailer. The person who sells in one one in one right so they sell a small quantities to, to people mm -hmm. number three or number two number three a person or business that sells good to the public in small quantity that's the one you sell right uh, yeah Mauricio? yes uh-huh that's retailer okay yeah t-shirt Rosy, Rosy, you were telling me one. Yes, teacher. Number two may be distributor. An agent who supplies goods to stores and other businesses that sell to consumer. Hmm? Distributor. Yeah. Okay. What about number four? A professional who provides expert advice in a particular area such as distribution logistics. Consultant. 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 Mm -hmm. And the last one, an individual agency or company that sells a manufacturer, a manufacturer's product to wholesale and retail customers. Number five. Mm -hmm. Is that a distributor or a manufacturer's representative? Uh, manufacturer's representative. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Hola. Oh, ¿Cómo traduciría represent eh, manufacturer representative? Manufacturer's representative. Mm -hmm. To Spanish. Estaría bien un eh, representante del fabricante. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Sí. But I'm going to read to you a definition of consultants and then you, chair, you check if you're okay. Uh, consultants may not directly profit from the sale of products or services, but they can be powerful intermediaries, all the same influencing clients to buy. That's the consultant. 
and the distributor extend the reach of and handle the logistics for products going to wholesalers and retailers. That's what the, the distributors do. And you want the definition? Well, not the definition. Manufacturer's representative in Spanish one. For example, como distribuidor autorizado. Uh -huh. Yes. Till, ay, saber en qué, ay, en sueco me lo dio. Ah, mire. <laughs> sí, claro. <laughs> English. Dice que yo se lo puse en Spanish y que me lo dio de regreso en sueco. Do you understand sueco? Representante del fabricante. That's the definition it gives. For example, if I, I make the product, but I get somebody to represent me in the stores. That someone whose job is to travel to different places, especially within a particular area, selling a company's goods or services. El representante de ventas, Kupi. Mm -hmm. It's the salesman. Uh -huh. That's the manufacturer's representative. Because remember that sometimes the, the manufacturer, they don't have time to be around, right? Selling the product. They, they have time to make the product, to create it but not to take it to the stores. That's why they have a manufacturer's representative. So that person goes to the stores, goes to the client or customer directly to, to share or to present the product, right? Uh, just like the Pepsi or Coca-Cola say, uh, salesman, right? Uh-huh, exactly. Exactly. So they they tell you, uh -huh, how many sodas do you want? We are going to send you uh, on Wednesday. Because if you notice, there is a man with a, with a paper, right? That goes to the stores and asks you how many uh, sodas you will want. So they go to you, they ask you, and then you say, you know what? I want two boxes of, of soda, the, the, one that, the little ones. And we want 10 liters made a gla glass bottle. And we want 20 bottles of three liters. So they make note in the, the next, uh, okay, about three week, three days later, the truck arrives to your store taking exactly the amount of sodas that you said you want, right? So they don't go, aha, uh -huh, how many sodas do you want? They go directly to take the sodas that you asked for. I don't know if you have noticed that. Did you know that? I used to live near a store. So that's why I noticed that the men were always arriving to ask for uh, how many sodas they wanted in the store. They told them the amount of money they would have to pay. So when the, the men from the truck arrived with the soda, the woman of the store knew that she was going to pay $50 with 50 cents. And she was with the money ready because she knew exactly the amount of money that she had to pay because the man, the representative, went to the store before the truck, right? 
Okay, I don't know if you have any other question here so far. Uy, qué jura. Wow. No, teacher, no question. Aha, uh -huh. this is the time. We <laughs> no question. I <At> don't. <laughs> I know. Okay, well, we will stop it here. We retake the topic anyway. We retake the topic tomorrow. Um, hmm. Let's see, let's see. Tell me present. For today, number one is Adolfo Rivas. Adolfo, it is your turn to stay. Present. <laughs> it is your turn to stay with me. Content. Content. Okay, Adolfo, present. Eh, Adriana Maria. Present teacher. Adriana Sofía. Sofía. Hola, present. Okay. Ana. No, Ana, today. Brenda, Alexandra. Brenda. Claudia Guadalupe. Cruz Antonio. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. José Alberto. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Um, José Arnoldo. Present. Carla Lorena. Present. Kevin Adonai. Mauricio Emilio Mauricio, hello Present teacher Nubia Suema Present teacher Pedro Luis Present teacher Raúl Edgardo Present Zulma Yanet Present. Victor. Present teacher. Fernando Enrique. I'm here. Present. Rosy. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Well, it was a pleasure. Tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night. 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 Adriana Maria, hello. Hi, hi, Adriana Maria.